Hey guys, it's Tash. I wanted to talk about being confident. So I just got a few tips for um, how to be confident in different ways. I can't give you tips on everything because some things is just a case of whether you can do it or not. But there are some ways in which it can help, maybe. If you really lack confidence when it comes to speaking to people, like when I was at school, I, I went to, if you're in you know, I went to sixth form. Um, I did dance and it was at a different school. Um, everyone was really talkative straight away and so I was kind of left and then I kind of felt a bit awkward. And I always feel that if you're quiet to start with, if you were to suddenly start speaking and being really talkative, it's really going to show and they're going to be like, whoa, where did that come from? And I don't want that because I don't like having too much attention drawn to me. Like, I just really didn't like it. So my, well, my advice would be is you got to talk from the start. If you're anything like me and you don't like having attention drawn to you, because if you're quiet and then when you eventually settle in and you speak and people are going to be like, whoa, what the hell? Like, she didn't speak. Where did that come from? Make yourself speak first. Just do it the minute you meet them. I was like that when I went to college, because I got kicked out of six from a year later because I failed everything, except for media. Um, I went to college instead, and I decided this is it. I'm going to need to make friends, or otherwise I'm going to be miserable for two years. So I spoke to people. Then I was, like, confident. When you, because you're the key to it is to be, if you make an effort and speak to people, then people will accept you and you'll get friendly with everyone. And when you're friendly with everyone, you can be confident enough because you feel comfortable around them. So as long as you feel comfortable around everyone, then you will definitely feel confident. Because at the end of the day, if you don't speak to people, people are going to know you as the quiet one. And like I said, if you do then speak, they're going to be a bit shocked. The second thing I want to talk about is appearance. Now, I know there's a lot of people who are not happy with the way they look. If you really do lack confidence in the way you look, take a f your favourite feature. For example, mine is actually my hair. I love my hair because it's long and curly and just, you know, there's just, I love it, okay? I, it's the only thing that I'll actually put effort into and I worry about the way it looks. Surely you have to have something that is the best bit about you. In particular, if it's something that people compliment you on anyway, then that's even better. My tip, my advice would be, whatever it is that you love, put loads of effort into making it really stand out. Reason being is because you think it looks great anyway. If you take that the one thing, for example, I take my hair and I dye it bright orange and red. Dyeing my hair, I, like I said, I get compliments on my hair anyway. Literally, every time I go out in public, someone makes a comment on my hair. Today I went out for a meal with my nan. I had a lady go, is that real? And I went, no, I dyed it. And she was like, oh, it's beautiful. I had a guy at work on Monday saying, oh, isn't that great how you got two colours? How did you do that? Oh, it looks beautiful, it does, it looks so nice. I got people yesterday when I was on customer service saying about my hair. There's nothing wrong with getting a compliment. If someone compliments you, take it, because it's just nice to get a compliment. If you are really down about your image, if you make this one thing that you like about yourself, really stand out, so if it's your eyes, just do some really nice eye makeup to really make them stand out or if you love your lips put a nice colour on them to make them pop anything if you focus on that one part of yourself that you really love you will get many compliments just a simple compliment from a stranger especially when someone you know compliments you doesn't necessarily mean that much because you know them and they're not going to say nice things about you and people just sometimes compliment you just because they know you. But if they're taking the time to say, they must really like this thing about you and so much that they have to say it. That one compliment can really help your confidence because to think that strangers are saying these really nice things to you, they must really mean it for them to say it because like I said, they don't have to say that to you. So they must mean it. And it will just really help with your confidence because mainly knowing that other people are seeing you in this way and they're saying nice things about you can just really help with your self-esteem. I'm gonna go, but I will see you in my next video. Bye!